last time you were in a library? Today we have access to all the information we need at our fingertips. But for some college students and university students, the library is still a common place to go study or fondle yourself like this girl. 19 year old Kendra Sutherland was arrested after making a dirty little video in her university library. In the video, the student flashes her boobs and fondles herself as people casually walk by. The video ended up online, was uploaded to Pornhub, and was shared over 250,000 times. She was charged with public indecency and can actually go to jail for up to a year and fined if guilty. Naughty, naughty girl. She was studying in human development and family science. But there was a whole other kind of human development going on in that library. Maybe she was performing an experiment. It made it into the news, you could say it was groundbreaking. Libraries aren't just for studying anymore. Next up, it's a zombie cat. This cat may have used up all nine lives to get out of this one. The cat named Bart clawed his way out of a grave. Bart's owner Ellis claimed that the cat was hit by a car. She thought he was dead, and so she buried the cat. But the cat came back five days later. The poor thing was covered in dirt and severely injured. Rescue workers who helped save Bart are suspicious of Ellis's story. They think that maybe she may have buried the cat alive? <gasps> Whatever they're thinking, it's not good and they don't want to return the cat and they're ready to take it to court. The cat is still recovering and is currently being taken care of by the Humane Society. Archaeologists are excavating pirate Blackbeard's sunken ship named Queen Anne's Revenge. Blackbeard went under off the coast of North Carolina in 1718. It was hidden in the water for over 270 years until it was discovered in 1996. So far, several medical devices have been found. They kind of look like something you would want to use on someone if you wanted to take out some revenge. Some of these pieces look terrifying. They found a syringe that would have been used to treat syphilis, as well as two pumps and a porringer that would have been used in bloodletting. Thank God we've come a long way since then. In the 1700s, these men would be on the waters for months and months at a time. Obviously, whatever ailment they had, they would need to be taken care of. And sometimes it wasn't always by someone with much experience. Okay, these things weren't so cool, but what's the coolest thing you've ever found? Let me know in the comments below. And there you have it. That's what's going on in the news. I'm Sandra Matos. Thanks for watching.